we want to bring our first guest to the show. I am so excited to welcome her because I think everybody could use a little bit of this goodness in their life. Please welcome Karen Baden. She is the owner and meditation teacher from Open Lotus Meditation here in Tucson. Please welcome her to Candidly Crystal. Karen, hi, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. We are so happy to have you here. You are just so, uh, even talking to you inside the green room, you just have this, mm -hmm. this presence and this peace around you that I'm really excited to bring you on the show because I feel like America, the world has sort of been this like ball of stress for mm -hmm. four years and maybe even a little bit longer, just, you know, so, so it's nice to have you here. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> I am so, so blessed to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's, a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I truly enjoyed the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. We try. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's first jump into what your practice is. You're a meditation teacher and you're also the owner of Open Lotus Meditation. Um, let's talk a little bit about that because I've always wanted to explore meditation just to sort of, I have anxiety to kind of relax my anxiety. Um, tell us what it is and, and sort of what the science is behind it and, and why really it's beneficial to anybody. Of course. So, you know, I coming from the corporate world, I was a CEO for 20 years and was extremely stressed all the time. And I invited a meditation teacher to distressify my staff. And in that moment, I knew this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So I left my career behind and started Open Lotus. And I was like, wow, okay, now I'm doing this. What do I do now? And then I learned, I got certified. And they were like, okay, well, meditation is the antidote to anxiety, to stress, to finding better sleep to lowering all of those aspects of our bodies that cause us sickness. And so I was like, what, all of that? How does that even work? And they're like, well, it's all in the brain. So scientifically, meditation reduces your amygdala, which is right in the center of your brain. This is the stress center that causes you that anxiety, that stress consistently. And we tap into our amygdala anywhere from 20 to 28 times a day. And what exactly is stress? Stress is when we don't get what we want. So how many times during the day do you wish to get something and we don't get it? It's like consistently tapping into that amygdala. So it's just like a muscle, so it enlarges. And the more we tap into it, the more we feel the anxiety and the stress and the depression and the lack of sleep, the rage, the you know all of these things that we feel in constantly day in and day out. When we meditate, we tap into two different parts of our brain, our hippocampus and our frontal cortex, which sits in the front of your brain. And this is your memory center, your happy center. This is where we feel love and gratitude. So when we sit for just 20 minutes a day, and this can be broken up to 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, um, we really are allowing ourselves to decrease that amygdala, so it makes mm -hmm. it smaller, and enlarging that frontal cortex and, front, and, and your hippocampus. Scientifically proven in 2004 to change the structure of your brain because our brain are plastic. And I mean, I don't know about anything else you can do where you're literally sitting in stillness and silence, breathing, exhaling. <laughs> ah! <That's a> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Thank you. <laughs> don't ever apologize for yeah, saying the wind down yeah. word of a day. We love it. We, we love it. We do. Um, <laughs> so when you ex when and, and having those moments in your life where it is sacred to spend a little bit of time with you, a little bit of time away from the kids, away from the husband, away from the pets, or maybe bringing in the pets. I have my pets meditate with me, <laughs> gently sitting with me. And meditation, I know people, are, they hear that word and they get real, kind of terrified. They're like, I can't meditate. Well, there's this stereotype that when you're meditating, you're not supposed to have thoughts. You're supposed to be in the Zen out like bubble. That happens with practice. But really, it's just a gentle back and forth between the object of your attention, which could be a mantra, a mind vehicle. It could be your breath. It could be a song. Meditation comes in many forms. It, it could be a walking meditation. It could be staring at a picture. 
It could be listening to soft, beautiful music. Whatever brings you joy into your heart is going to definitely allow you to have those moments of peace that will trigger that amygdala to shrink and enlarge those parts of the brain that allow you to bring some some healing into your heart, yeah. into your brain, into your soul, into your spirit. Wow. That's like, it's kind of just blowing my mind right now, everything that you're saying and that you were a CEO and that you left it to this and that everything you're saying makes so much sense. And yes, I am one of those people that I hear meditate for 20 minutes a day and I go, no way. I can't sit still for one minute during a day. So it gives me hope to, okay, maybe I can do this because I know I definitely need it. So somebody like me who is, is new to the game, like, how would I get started a meditation routine of my own? What would you recommend? So I definitely recommend starting with a guided meditation. Um, I have lots of free guided meditations right on my website. And I have two other links that you can listen to guided meditations. I have anything from five minutes to 20 minutes. And I always tell people, start small. Consistency is better than duration in the beginning. It takes about 56 days for our brain to have that shift. So if you're starting with a three minute meditation, that's how long I actually started with three minutes a day in the morning and one minute in the evening. That's all I started with. And then you just add a minute a week. So you start to get comfortable. It's a practice mm -hmm. because it takes practice to get to that state of mind where you can be still. And once you get to that 20 minutes, your body will crave it. You'll be like, ooh, I can't wait. Ooh, I really need to sit here and sit. And, and, and there's other tools that you can use, like you can meditate. So instead of getting up and checking your phone, um, getting your cup of coffee, you actually stay in bed for the duration of the three minutes, the five minutes, however you wanna start with, listen to your meditation, and then you're done for the day. And oh, then the I'm in. You can add a minute. That's great. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm meditating. I'm meditating. Don't leave me alone. I no, love meditating. That's I love great. meditating. That's what she said. Meditate. It's, it's had so me. doable because I think for a lot of people, I know me, especially recently with a new job, my first reaction in the morning is check my emails. When in reality, mm -hmm. setting myself up for a great morning where I, I lay there and I just sort of meditate. And I had one friend tell me this, Crystal, every morning you should wake up and just say, thank you for everything you have in your life. Start your morning off with gratitude. And, and I have, and mm. I love being able to do that. All of this though has me thinking, and, and it's totally not on our questions, but have either of you seen the movie Soul? Have you Not seen yet. the movie yet on Pixar? I want to watch it with my kids. No. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay. So Crystal, you have to see it. But Karen, you have to see this movie because it talks about meditation. <gasps> and it taught, yes, it talks about people tapping in in meditation and helping lost souls. I don't want to give away too much. I don't want to give away too much. Mm, but yeah. it really talks about how meditating, tapping into your energy can, can allow you to sort of escape but the people in this particular movie escape and help other people. And, and no. I, I, I think you'll love it. It's a great movie. I know. I want to see it. I can't I've wait. seen the commercial, the, the commercials. <laughs> I've seen the previews to it. So I'll definitely have to add it to my watch list. I dedicate, you know, oh, a that. little bit of time. Tess on, on Facebook, Karen, she, she says you either need an app or she needs to, uh, you need to start texting her. <laughs> you need to go to Open uh, Lotus yes. Meditation, Tess, and check it out. <laughs> yes, yes. All of my contact information is, you guys have it, and it's also on my website, so you're welcome to text me. That's actually my preferred way of communicating is texting people, so, um, yeah. But the, but the reason I brought up the movie Soul is because I feel like now people are starting to realize the importance of really tapping in to you, if that makes sense, and self-care. Because I consider meditation, and, and Karen, I actually just started on my yoga journey um, 25 days ago officially, and I have to tell you those moments during my, my yoga practice where I get to meditate and just sit and feel the energy sort of course through me are my favorite parts of the day. Like it mm. really is where I'm just like, you're capable of anything. It's where you can anything. exhale, girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> I needed a drink. I needed a drink. 
<laughs> so so uh, for me, I just think what you're saying right now, Karen, is so important. And if you're watching Candidly Crystal right now and you're hearing what she has to say, I promise you investing in yourself, especially when it comes to meditation and self-care, is going to benefit you not only this year, but in years to come. We, we know that you're multifaceted, though, Karen, because you you also specialize in sound healing. Is that right? T I tell do. us more yes. about that practice. And, and again, kind of dive into the science behind it. Sure. So sound healing is a fantastic way to meditate as well. Um, it is the way it works is there are hurts, there are bodies need to find healing and it aligns our chakra centers, our energy centers in our body, all the way from our root, all the way to our crown. And so we spend about 45 minutes to an hour aligning and, and all you have to do is lay down. It's the most simplest way to meditate. Um, the only thing is that you have to have someone play for you. It's not something that you can do at home, but scientifically it, it is proven to regenerate your cells. So it provides you healing in, in, in a physical manner. It helps you sleep like a baby. It allows you to relax completely because the entire time you're laying down with a pillow and a blanket. And if you do a private session, then I also do the crystal healing with it. So you don't only get the sound healing, but you get crystal healing as well. Um, which really, I mean, it sets you up for the week, absolutely, 100%. And it is a fantastic way to just find complete relaxation. Mostly people fall asleep or they go into <laughs> another realm. I don't know oh. how deep you want to get into it, but you wow. do visit other realms while you are in in a sound healing session, for sure. I have group sessions and I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions for for um, for the sound healing. But it's a beautiful way to meditate because it's easy. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. And you, you just, get all the benefits. And I love it. as crystals, we yes. love crystal yes. healing. The crystal <laughs> sound wall, the crystal healing. I have my moon rock up. on tonight. I wore my mm. moon rock specifically for today's rock segment. It. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love <laughs> so, it. Not, not to jump back to the movie, but there's a part in the movie where they say <laughs> what you're referring to, it's in the zone. When you get oh. in the zone and those moments and 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 I'm sure, Karen, you can tell us a little bit more about that. But I feel like when you do have Crystal, when you're on stage singing and you just feel like you're hitting every single note, you're in a zone, you know? Yeah, that's that's exactly it, Crystal. So it is called actually the zone in the meditation uh, world because a lot of people think that they've never meditated. But who has not or I shouldn't say that, but. I know a lot of people that have been on a roller coaster. And in that moment where you're on that roller coaster and you're going, T -t -t -t, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about that specific moment, not the past, not the yeah. present, not the, I'm, not the future, I'm hanging but on. that present moment. Totally. You're hanging on. That is the zone. It's meditation. It's when you're given a presentation and you're killing it. It's when you're on stage and you're singing it and you're killing it. That's a meditation, believe Ooh. it or not. If you are meditating all the time. time <laughs> there you go. If when you if you find yourself in that present moment where you're not worried about anything, you're in the zone and you're meditating in that moment. So we have to open that. expand a little bit um, to get out of that dogma of being in a lotus pose, rigid back. Now, do that has a lot of benefits to it. That's how I meditate. But when I started, I I incorporated everything. Even stopping at a stoplight, I would do 16 seconds of clarity. Or when I teach it to officers, I call it tactical breathing. So I kind of change oh. it depending on the, my audience, but it, it does the same exact thing. If you're, if you're starting to feel your heart raising and your, your, your head is bubbling and you're like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm about to explode. You're gonna burn down the village, right? Oh. You take a moment, you close your eyes, and you go through. Can you lead us through this right yes. now? Can you lead us through this 16 yes. seconds right now? I'm ready. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But first, we need to exhale. Ah, okay. yes. Oh, yes. Ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers, Karen. Thank you. So, you're going to get first as comfortable as you can. You can place your arms next to you on your lap, whatever feels really natural. And you're going to gently close over your eyes. 
And then you're just going to take a very slow, deep breath in through your nose, very gently, really allowing your belly to expand and feel that air expanding a little bit more as you take that deep breath in. And when you get to the top where you cannot exhale anymore, you hold it for four seconds. And then you're going to release, gently allow that air to leave through your nostrils or your mouth, whatever feels good to you, and just exhale it all out and hold it at the bottom for four more seconds and then relax. And you can do this 16 second practice several times, making it a minute, two minutes, whatever feels good to you. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. That was great. Your voice is so soothing, Karen. I know. I love it. Because there's sometimes people be doing meditations and I'm like, mm, I'm not feeling their voice. <laughs> but I'm picky because I'm a musician. Your voice is really soothing. You have the perfect voice for this. I definitely want mm. to go to openlotusmeditation.com and check out all of the meditations that you have. And you know, you have you have a deal going on right now, right, Pino? Yes, you have an amazing special offer right now. Karen, tell us how they can subscribe and get a 30-day free Open Lotus Meditation subscription. Sure. So it's really easy. All you have to do is go to my website and click on Blooming Lotus Membership and use the discount code FREEMEM, F-R-E-E-M-E-M, -E 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 this when you are checking out and you get a free 30 days of weekly guided meditation downloads that you can keep forever. You get weekly empowerment questions that will really allow you to align yourself to whatever's going on in your life. You get a monthly virtually live webinar that you can attend live or listen to the recording and 10% off all special events and classes, including the sound healing. You get all of this completely for free and uh, for 30 days. And that's my, wow. that's one of the special offers that I have right now. Yeah. It's, pretty amazing. It's fantastic. I love it. And it. It's especially Tess, who was asking, do you have an app? app? Can you text me every day? See <laughs> and subscribe and get yourself a free 30 day membership. I know Tess is going through college right now. She's pursuing her degree. We could all use a little bit of meditation and exhale. Yeah, uh, we are in between those books. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Karen, this has been amazing. And I feel like it's sort of a sign for me that I should pursue this and do this more because same. I've Hashtag always, same. yes, I've always wanted to try. And I know I keep talking about the movie soul, but it, it really made <laughs> you think we're not tapping into our potential fully as humans. Like, I, I don't no. know. It's weird. A Pixar movie made me think that, but especially with me doing yoga, starting yoga, I, there's moments where, where I I'm, I'm in the, I forget what it's called. The end of the, the session where you kind of lay and relax. Yeah. It's I, meditation. And, oh, Shavasana. Shavasana. Yes. Yeah, Shavasana. Yeah. When I yeah. do my Shavasana, um, we had an extended Shavasana the other day and I feel like I was gone for like seven days. Uh -huh. I came back and I was like, how the long has it been? <laughs> <laughs> you so, needed that. Oh, that's, that's called the gap. That's when you go, it's the in-between. It's the fourth level of consciousness. There's seven levels that you never hear about, but that's the fourth level of consciousness called Turya, T-U-R-Y-A, T -U -R -Y -A, <laughs> um, where you go into the stillness and it's the gap. It's this, it's not, the. In, it's like an in-between and you almost feel like you're dreaming yes. and you're like, wow, oh, where did I go? And you don't know you're in it until you come out of it. It's such an amazing place to be. And you can hit that gap every single time you go it was into amazing. meditation. Practice. No, it was. It was yeah. amazing. We had music with it. That was sort of like the the, the crystal, the sound bowls. It sounded like that. Yes. And I kid you not. I remember hearing the music and then all of a sudden being like, where have I been? And then I woke up feeling very energized, very happy, very just ready to get my day started. So it, it, if anybody's going through moments right now, this is your sign too, mm -hmm. that you need to really focus on self-care. And maybe it starts with open lotus meditation and, and how you can really create that, that healthy meditation habit 
that will start your day off how it should start off, you know, good, happy, you know, smile on your face. Yeah, exactly. I think it's so needed. And end your day. Yeah, and, and, and end your day. And like end. I said, yes. Bookends. <laughs> Beginning and Bookends. end. I love well, it. Karen, thank you. I was just really quick. I said my sure. meditation um, teacher, David G., he says, you know, meditation in the morning and the evening. You got to eat in the morning. You got to poop it out in the day, end of the day. True so that. It's, True like, that. Cycle. it's your exhale. It's your exhale. <laughs> inhale and exhale. You got to do both. Mm -hmm. That's right. Get, get in with the good, out with the bad. And we are so glad, Karen, that you came here today to share that with us. Uh, thank you for for telling us about Open Lotus Meditation. If you want more information, be sure to go to openlotusmeditation.com. Karen, you're amazing. You have We're to gonna come check back, it Karen. Out. Yes, you do. We have to do yes. like a full meditation. I would be really excited about that. Yes. Again, <laughs> openlotusmeditation.com. You can find Karen on Instagram at open underscore lotus underscore meditation. And she has all of that for you. Wow, that was really, really fantastic. Yes. Right? Thank you, Karen. Can't wait to have Thank you, you back. Thank you, Karen. On.